the Alabama Democratic Party chair Randy Kelly told the vice chair Tabitha Isner, you be quiet, girl. Members of the public were also kicked out of the meeting. People were prohibited from recording. Every week across the country, but even here in the South, which is only a surprise if you don't watch this channel, uh, workers are filing for union elections. Workers are doing things in their unions. Workers are fighting the boss and workers are winning every week. And so we want to bring you a report every week about what they're doing. And with that, let's jump into new election filings for last week, the week ending on when did we end this data collection? On the 5th of August? On the 4th of August? Yeah. The, through the 4th of August, the week ending in, on Friday, August the 4th. 28 workers full and part-time at Rainbow Blossom Grocery Store in Louisville, Kentucky, filed for a union election on the 2nd of August with the United Food and Commercial Workers Union Local 227. Four workers at the Tennessee Democratic Party filed for a union election on the 2nd of August with the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers Local 429. Interestingly, the new executive director of the Alabama Democratic Party organized with the IBEW as well when he worked on the Joe Biden and Mark Kelly campaigns in 2020. So, I don't know. Maybe we'll see that in here. I don't know. About a dozen workers at Papa John's in Houston, Texas, filed for a union election on the 1st of August with the General Service Union. Haven't been able to find anything about them online. 25 workers at Transit Management of Alexandria in Alexandria, Virginia, filed for a union election on the 1st of August with the, international, or with the Amalgamated Transit Union Local 689. 130 workers at Transdev in Arlington, Virginia, filed for a union election on the 1st of August with the same union, ATU Local 689. Shout out, ATU. 12 workers at Coca-Cola Southwest Beverage in Okmulgee, Oklahoma, filed for a union election on the 1st of August with the International Brotherhood of Teamsters Local 68, uh, Local 886. 17 workers at Southwest Key Programs in El Paso, Texas, filed for a union election on the 1st of August with the International Union of Operating Engineers, Local 351. 200 workers at AM Fuel in Magolia, Arkansas filed for a union election on the 31st of July with the United Steelworkers, local 607L. Four workers at Champion Enterprises in Liberty, North Carolina filed for a union election on the 28th of July with the International Association of Machinists and Aerospace Workers, District Lodge 75. In election results, 15 workers at Boyd Company in Nitro, West Virginia, voted against unionization 10 to 1 with the International Union of Operating Engineers Local 132. Workers at the Omni Shoreham Hotel in D.C. voted in favor of unionization 3-0 to zero with Unite Here, Local 25. 44 workers at Windstream Services in Sugarland, Texas voted against unionization in a tie. 21-21 to 21 with the Communication Workers of America. Windstream in this campaign used the notorious union-busting law firm Jackson Lewis. 25 workers at Starbucks in Bartonville, Texas, voted in favor of unionization 14 to 7 with the Starbucks Workers United. 11 workers at President Lincoln's Cottage in D.C. voted in favor of unionization 9 to 0 with the United Auto Workers. 13 workers at Birmingham Rail and Locomotive Company in Birmingham, Alabama, voted against unionization 4 to 7 with the International Brotherhood of Boilermakers. 18 workers at USA Truck in West Memphis, Arkansas, voted in favor of unionization 14 to 3 with the International Brotherhood of Teamsters, Local 667. 24 workers at Starbucks in Bradenton, Florida, voted against unionization 7 to 9 with one challenged ballot with Starbucks Workers United. Six workers of the American Civil Liberties Union voted against unionization 2 to 2 in... That oh, was in Mississippi. Mississippi with the Washington Baltimore Newspaper Guild, local 32035. 230 workers at the Keymores Company in Fayetteville, North Carolina, voted against unionization 73 to 119 with 26 challenge ballots with the Laborers International Union of North America, local 919. And finally, six workers at the Cahoma Opportunities Pre-K Center in Clarksdale, Mississippi, voted in favor of unionization with the International Brotherhood of Teamsters, local 666. Seven unanimously. Yeah, really excited about that last one. That was really cool. Hey, five seconds. Just wanted to say that this is only possible because of our donors. If you want to see more of this, then consider donating yourself at tvlr.fm/donate.
Uh, and strikes and bargaining, BCTGM 390G, they are still on strike. They have been on strike since June 4th against international flavors and fragrances in Memphis, Tennessee. The International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, IBEW 1464, are still on strike against Wabtec since October of last year in Kansas City, Missouri. United Food and Commercial Workers, UFCW 655, are still on strike against Shangri-La Marijuana Dispensary. That's been going on since May, and that is in Columbia, Missouri. Coffee Workers of the South, UFCW 1995, have been on strike against Three Brothers Coffee in Nashville since June 13th. And also wanted to mention that the Teamsters Amazon strike did expand to the Atlanta area uh, with a warehouse, Atlanta 6. So wanted to mention that as well, according to a recent release from the Teamsters. Very cool stuff there. In politics and legislation, the Alabama Democratic Party vice chair for labor commented on a recent executive board meeting saying, yesterday we had an executive board meeting. The reports coming out of the meeting are unfortunately true. The reports being that the chair told the vice chair, the chair Randy Kelly told the vice chair Tabitha Isner, you be quiet, girl, when she was commenting on uh some things going on in the meeting. Uh, Members of the public were also kicked out of the meeting. People were prohibited from recording. In terms of business, says Bradley Turner, vice chair for labor for the Alabama Democratic Party, we have hired Tom Gitz, uh, Tom Myro as executive director and Sheena Gamble as communication director. Both are highly qualified for the job. So we'll see what happens there. He ends, just know that while we clearly have problems, we are working to build infrastructure for a functional party, regardless of who holds the gavel. So we'll see what happens there. In internal union affairs, international president of the United Mine Workers, Cecil Roberts, uh, is re-elected unanimously along with uh, Secretary Treasurer Brian Sanson. CWA uh, earlier this summer had their international elections and elected Claude Cummings as president of the International Union. If we missed anything, let us know. You just saw a clip from the Valley Labor Report. We are live every Saturday morning from 9.30 a.m. till 12.30 p.m. And we pride ourselves on keeping all of our content free to everybody so that we can talk to as many working folks as possible. If you support the work that we're doing, you think that it's important, you think that it's good, then consider making a monthly contribution to the project. And you can do that on our website, tvlr.fm. 